So it opens with this B flat minor pentatonic lick. And we slide in on the B string into the 6th fret, which is F. And we're sliding into that F from E natural. Now in the key of B flat, that E natural, that, that's the blues note. So it has that sour sound as you're getting into it. But we don't really hear it. <clears throat> He's just sliding into it. But I just like to note that that's the blues note. And then we play the adjacent string, which is the high E string, B flat. That's the root. Now notice, I'm not playing them at the same time. That would create that chord sound. I'm playing them individually. And to do that, I have to roll my finger. So just practice doing that if you're not capable of doing that. So when we get that sound, that'll sound like this. Now I'm doing outside picking on this hand, which means I'm doing a down and then an up. But you can pick it however you like, as long as you're intentional. And then the second part is sliding from that same E, except the E now on the G string, which is the blues note on the G string. And we're sliding that to the 8th fret, which is going to be that E flat. So we're sliding from the 9th to the 8th fret. And we finish that with this low B flat here. So, so if you can follow the tab, that, that's just the beginning line. And then we play it the second time, but instead of playing that B flat up here, I'm going to be playing the A flat here on the B string. So I have this. And here now I have to do the same sort of rolling idea, except now onto the G string. So I have this. So both of them great blues licks. And then this one. Right. And then we end it by... Now some people like to hop over and use their pinky here. I just use my ring finger the whole time because blues players generally base most of their fingerings off of these three fingers, especially these two. So that's how the opening line would go. And then traditionally in a blues, we repeat that over the four chord. Now this to me is where it gets interesting because he starts to follow the arpeggios of the changes for the turnaround. So the turnaround in a B flat blues would be F7 to E flat 7, and that's the 5 and the 4 chord. The arpeggios for those turnaround chords would be this. And now instead of just playing the arpeggios, he plays this very cliche blues line, if you will. And we hear that all the time, right? Right, so. And that's just a chromatic line that we connect between the third and the fifth. And you can do that really with any major triad. So any triad you have this, why not connect it chromatically? Notice I'm trying not to use my pinky, and that's not because I'm lazy, it's because I'm trying to play it authentic style. And then, right? So instead of playing these simple arpeggios, he's playing this line. Resolves it all together with our classic. Can't go wrong with that. Right. So all together we have this. Right. 
that's our opening line. Then that repeats over the four chord. And then we have the turnaround. And we're hearing that over the F chord. And then over the E flat chord. And then resolve home. hope you guys found that helpful and uh, good luck exploring blues and jazz guitar. Grant Green is one of my favorite guitar players.